So in this video, then we're going to be looking at how we can link all of our worksheets together. And well, we just have a couple of worksheets like this. It's not too much of an issue, but if we start to have quite a few different worksheets or you want to point someone into a specific direction, then this can be really useful to be able to link them all together. So we'll start out with just using this first one as it's like the first and the last one that we can link together pretty easily. So we'll click into the cell where we want the link to appear. And once we've done that, we're going to go up to the side where the formula bar is here and we can insert a function. We're going to insert the hyperlink function here and clicking onto the hyperlink function. We can see that we get two arguments here. So we have the link location and we have the friendly name for the link location. What we're going to do is we're going to pop in a double quote followed by a asterisk followed by a single quote followed by the page name where you wanted it to go. So for us, we just want it to go to the first single quote, then exclamation mark A1, followed by a double quote. And that'll just take that there. So that'll reference the first page that we want to go to. And now we have the friendly name. So this argument here is what do you want the writing to be within the cell when you have it there. So we'll just keep this nice and easy, keeping it as link. And we will there press OK. And you can see now that we have that appear and we've got the link there. So if we click into that, we can see that it automatically takes us to that first page there. So we'll just go back to the main page. We'll delete that out. And now we'll start to look at this because you might have quite a few different ones here and you might not need to be able to put the link to them as you work your way down. So we have our sheet names here referenced Okay, so as we've created a sheet, we've just put the name up here. We will use the equal sign now to do this and we'll press the hyperlink and we'll insert that function there. So as always, all of our functions have to start with the equal sign, the function itself, and then we open the parentheses up to start with the arguments. And we can see that we have the same two arguments as before. So the link location and the friendly name. So we start out with a double quotes and hashtag single quote double quote and that just closes that part off there and now what we need to do is put an and and we want to link it to the sheet name that we want to do so for us we're just going to click onto the invoice there so we have the b2 we're then going to press the and again to add that all up and then we'll press the double quotes single quotes exclamation mark a1 because that's the cell that we want it to go to double quotes and then we'll close that part off there. So that's the first argument done within it. And now we can see the friendly name. So we'll just put the friendly name as the cell name again. So we'll call that one invoice and then we'll close the parentheses. And we can see that that's created the link there. So if we click into it and then we select all the way down and just drag it down, we can see that we've created links now to each of our different pages. So we've created a link to the invoice, a link to the customer, to the SKUs, and to the first page there. If you want to make this now so that it works the other way and that we, once we've clicked into the invoice there, uh, that we can then click back, what we can do is select the invoice and then select up to the page where you want to do, holding the shift key. And you can see now that it's selected all the different tabs at the bottom there. So we have all of our different worksheets selected. So we can just press the equals and we're just gonna use the hyperlink function again. And we want the link location to be a double quote, hashtag, single quote, and then whatever your main sheet is. So for me, I've just called it main, single quote, exclamation mark, A1, double quote. And then again, we're just gonna move into the friendly name. So we'll just call this one main. And then double quote, closing off the parentheses and pressing enter. And now when we look at this, because we have selected all of the sheets, when we move across all of our different ones, so we're in SKU, first, main, we've created that link to all of them and all of them will link back to the main sheet that we have there. So we can just jump between all of our different sheets really easily and make it that more effective, especially if you've got loads of data and you want to direct somebody to where that particular data set is found. So hopefully you found this useful. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below.